Hey YouTubers, I'm about to try something that might be almost too sloppy. If you had a 243 cylinder head that came factory with the 2 inch 155 valves, could you buy 202 valves, 157 exhaust valves, and just lap them into the factory seats provided the factory seats were still in good condition. So this was our dilemma. And it was just kind of a tongue-in-cheek idea we had. But then we were trying to, you know, kind of justify the fact that you're looking at $180 to $220 to have a new valve job done on these heads, which is fine. You know, we're willing to do that if we have to. One of the tests that you can do with a valve seal is to fill the chamber with liquid or, or not fill it, but put liquid on the back side of the valve and see if it'll pass. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the exhaust valve band first. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got a nice even band, gray band from the lapping process. The only thing I don't really know if I like is that it's, more near the base of the angle not centered like I would have preferred that little ceiling angle to be more centered not on the inner area which makes sense because you know it's a bigger valve but it is seating on that inner area of that valve with a nice even band now if you look at the intake valve <clears throat> it seems to fit even better because it has a nice even gray band centered in the ceiling surface there you go I think you can see it better at that angle but it's got a nice even seal right in the center of that ceiling surface. There you go, you can see it pretty good right there. It's got a nice even band around that intake valve. Okay guys, hopefully you can see this. It's really hard to show on camera, but what, look at this. If you look at the intake seat, and I had to grab something pokey so I can kind of show you, it is do, it's creating a nice clean seal or band near the top portion of that ceiling angle. Okay? It's, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's gonna work, but I'm really shocked at how well that thing seems to be working as far as creating that ceiling band on that existing seat. I don't know, I'm still kinda out to Still kind of not optimistic, but I'm wanting to at least keep going forward. The exhaust seat has a nice even gray band on it. And again, kind of on that outer edge, but it doesn't go all the way to the top of the seat. A nice, decent, you know, thinner than some used seat uh, ceiling bands that you'll see. But it's, I don't know. It's not centered, but it's it's it to me. I like the exhaust seal a little more than I like this one, if that makes any sense. Like when I'm looking at trying to run this 157 valve on a 155 seat, this I think I like. This I don't know yet. What I want to do is just assemble this head with some valve springs and just see what it does on a fluid test. Because, you know, like I said, guys, this is not something I'm recommending you do. It was just purely what would happen if you tried to run a 202 valve on a 2-inch factory seat or went to the 157 valve on the 155 seat, would it even come close to sealing? Hey, guys, before we get too far ahead, let's try the light test first. So if I put a light down inside this port, that valve should seal and not allow uh, any light to come around. Seal. 
So far, so good. There's no light visible around that seat. So now let's proceed with putting some fluid in it and see if it'll hold fluid. All right, guys, just so you know, I'm on the up and up, I'm not trying to fool anybody. I've got my syringe full of blue liquid. We're gonna start filling the exhaust port until I know it's full enough to completely cover the entire valve and we will start looking for leaks. Let's move over here. We're gonna move around. We don't feel it. I don't want to. I'm gonna get this in one shot. That way you know we're not doing any funny business. Man, that one light's kind of bright. Let me, I don't know if that helps or hurts. Let's see if we can adjust that just a hair. So you can kind of see that that is the exhaust valve. Com port is completely full. If I put any more in there, it'll just run out the other side of the head. And we have no leaks, guys. Now keep in mind, that is the 157 on fire, brand new, one piece stainless steel valve on the factory 1.55 uh, factory seat. <clears throat> Literally the only thing I've done is just put some uh, lapping compound on the valve and just lapped it into the seat. We have any issues with uh, the larger valve coming in contact or coming too close to the aluminum casting or surface of the chamber floor. So far, everything looks good, guys. I like what I've seen as far as the exhaust. Keep in mind, we've only checked the exhaust valve. Could you save the money? Could this be another hack for someone who was replacing valves that had good seats? You know, because a lot of times when you pull these heads apart, the seats might look great. They might even have good seal on the valves. But you'll notice your exhaust valves will be horribly pitted. This would be a really interesting test that if you can just go and order or buy a set of new exhaust valves, for example, you can lap them things in and run them. Now, you're going to have to check your, your stem height and make sure that your valve spring, you know, isn't within tolerance. I'm going to let this set for, I don't know, five, ten minutes or so and uh, make sure it doesn't leak. Okay guys, let's stick the old flashlight down the port and see if we have any light protruding. Let me get out of the, there we go. Gotta cover up the light behind me. And again, we have absolutely no light coming around that intake valve. So now we'll move on to doing the fluid test. Okay guys, here's our blue wonder fluid. Start throwing it in the port until we can cover up the whole valve. Let's see what we got. It's full. Let me show you. Get over here in the light, of course. She's empty. Might even get some more and put in there. Just to be safe. Because the Apparently the intake port sets a little different angle and I wanted to make sure you guys could see it on the video. Here we go. Again, she's empty. So now we will sit here and we will look for leakage. Gosh, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? We have nothing so far. Let me get the light. I'm working at night, guys. See there? I'm not, I'm not cheating. There's absolutely no leakage coming around that valve. That 202 intake valve is seating and sealing perfectly on that factory two inch seat. So it just makes you wonder, I hate to say sloppy mechanics for the win, but if you don't have to pay 100 you know 
sometimes several hundred dollars to get a new valve job, then why would you waste the money? Like, you know what I mean? If you can buy even brand new valves and lap them into your seats, then provided you can see these old seats, they're not bad. They're not sunken, they're not deteriorated, they're not pitted. There's nothing wrong with the seats in these 243 heads, but we had some pretty badly pitted exhaust valves and the intake valves had worn, a couple of them, two or three of them, had worn really thin on the ceiling face, almost razor, I would say razor to knife edge thin. So we had just, uh, you know, okay, this is going in a pretty serious build. Let's go ahead and get brand new intake and exhaust valves and we'll just get a valve job. Then we started talking about it on the, you know, just between us and we're like, man, I wonder if the seats are good enough. Could you just lap these valves, even though they're, you know, they're 20 thousandths bigger, guys. These valves are 20 thousandths bigger than the factory valves. Could we theoretically lap those things in and them not, you know, give us any problems? So right now our first step to validating whether that's possible or not is a success. So far I've gotten, you know, nice, even uh, ceiling surface or ceiling bands on both the intake and exhaust. And both of them pass the light test and both of them pass the fluid test. Actually, the, you know, I let that exhaust valve sit for over 10 minutes while I went in the house, came back out, and it was a still bone dry, just like it is right now. And then you got the intake valve that's, you know, holding up just like a champ. There's no leakage on it either. You know, I don't know. This could be a win, guys. I mean, as long as my stem height doesn't interfere with my install height for my valve springs, Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna run these. I think I'm gonna send this video to Richard, see what he thinks. Maybe have him come by and look at it, and if we have to, we'll run through all these tests again. And we'll if we have to, we'll test every every single one. I don't know. I'm just really shocked that a harebrained idea actually worked. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. That's kind of cool if you think hey, about let's it. Let's try to do this and just to see if it works. And it seems to be working. I mean, the fluid's still in the intake valve or in the intake port. Uh, no leaking, no problems. I'm just, I'm kind of with, kind of beyond words right now because I truly was not optimistic because of all the times we've paid to have valve jobs done because the machine shops told us we needed them really makes you reflect back on the thousands of dollars spent that maybe just maybe i'm not calling anybody out or poking anybody in the eye but just maybe that money would didn't need to be spent some of those times i don't know it's really interesting but i appreciate you guys watching just to kind of reiterate we put twenty thousandths bigger one piece stainless steel valves on the factory seats lapped them in and they sealed perfectly i don't know maybe it's a fluke but i just wanted to share this with you guys it was just kind of a test that we had kind of run through our heads and discussed and i decided i would just go ahead and try it throw it on video and see what kind of feedback we got so basically if you guys have any feedback positive negative sideways in the middle back flips whatever what do you guys think? Going 20 thousandths bigger on intake and exhaust, lapping them in on the factory 2 inch 155 seats, sealed perfectly and passed both tests. So hit up the comments, let me know what you think. I want to know any potential concerns, downfalls, pitfalls, warnings. You know, here's your dunce cap, here's your fishing pole, here's your sign. Hit up the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to tell your friends.